We feel that we need to keep up to date with the, um, all the latest news in the LBG community. The example I can give you is maybe, for example, a genital herpes outbreak. And if we're aware of that in the community, good, then we can uh, then tailor our questions and, uh, and gather information that would be more pertinent to that problem. Um, the LBG Foundation, uh, we found, is incredibly useful. There's so many services that they provide, uh, a wide range of um, support. And we know that we can contact the LBGD Foundation on that day, if we've got a patient with us, and they will um, invite that patient down and provide the advice and the service required. It's been, it's excellent, that's all I can say, it really is excellent. Um, another case example that we had was one of our GPs, so a patient who wanted um, we needed some um, counselling at the gender identity service. Um, unfortunately, it was a very long waiting time. I think it was about 12 to 15 months. Um, and we signposted the patient to the LGBT, who was able to do some interim work with them. And that was really beneficial to the patient while they were waiting for their appointment. 